For centuries of millennia, man lived outdoors, hunting deer and nuts. Then one day, it must have rained, and man discovered a new place, indoors. It was here man made his biggest discovery since he discovered indoors, architecture. To see old architecture, you only have to look around somewhere like London City, which is like a museum full of old buildings, but all outside where you can see them, instead of inside a building, like things in proper museums aren't. Behind me is St Paul's, which was designed and built single-handed by Sir Christopher Robin. It's considered an amazing piece of architecture because it's both a building and a church. In olden times, everyone in London city from barons to milkmen lived in a house like this. But then in War II, Hitler dropped thousands of bombs on the city, killing loads of the architecture and forcing the wartime cockneys to live in tubes. When they came out of the ground, they needed somewhere to live in a hurry. So the government quickly put up tall buildings without any architecture in for people to live in. But not all these buildings are thought of as ugly today. Some are considered hideous eyesores instead. This is the National National Theatre. It's designed to look so horrible that people are glad to be inside watching boring plays. Today's London city is full of modern architecture, which looks like sort of fish tanks made of graph paper, which the inhabitants use for earning money in. One person who knows all about architecture is this person. We spoke to him on the phone yesterday to make sure he could talk properly before we spent all the money on cameras. Um, who are you? I'm Ian Borden. I'm a professor of architecture at University College London. What is a building? A building is anything that anyone has built. So my shoes are a building? There may not be a building, um, they're a physical object. I guess a building is also something that people in some way live in or inhabit. Right. And um, My nephew makes buildings in Minecraft. How much more does he need to do to be considered a qualified architect? Well, to be a qualified architect in this country, you have to study five years at university and do at least two years in professional practice. And how many of those years would be studying Minecraft? Very few of them. You could continue looking at Minecraft at the same time, but you wouldn't normally use Minecraft as part of an architectural education. Speaking as an expert in architecture, do you ever watch Homes Under the Hammer? No, I don't, no. You don't watch... Homes Under the Hammer? I've never seen it, no. You've never seen Homes Under the Hammer? I've never seen Homes Under the Hammer. Why not? You must have heard about it. I haven't heard about it, no. Don't you and the other architects talk about it? It's not a subject that's ever come up, no. I think you'd enjoy it. I think you'd get a lot out of it. I should go and have a look, yes. Yeah, I think you should. Maybe one day, human beings won't need buildings anymore. Although, for that to happen, we'd probably need to evolve skins made of bricks. And that might take at least another 30 years. So until then, buildings it is. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking, why do we cry when it's the onions that are getting hurt? <laughs> <laughs>